pretty excited out here at the Voskoin Mining Farm. What's up, yo? My name's Drew Vosk. We've got the digital shovel. It's a plug and play Bitcoin mining container. We've got that situated. It's running at full capacity. It's so freaking cool. And I'm excited and relieved to say that uh, because I have had a few issues with it. But what I want to talk to you about today is going to be the hard drive mining shed. And uh, before I walk in here, let me just give you a quick primer on what it is, right? So it's an Amish built shed. It's green, just like Boss Coin, just like Chia, the coin we're farming, just like Evergreen, a lot of the miners we have in there. Uh, so this is basically my own little DIY data center. It has HVAC units on it, so it's climate controlled. I could run heat, but I'm obviously not gonna need to do that. Uh, and of course it can run AC. The coolest, absolute, incredibly coolest thing about this is there are no holes in this building that aren't sealed up, right? There's no intake vents, there's no exhaust fan, none of that. And uh, originally I made I made an error and I, and I bought the wrong freaking mini split. Uh, but anyway, long story short, as you can see, uh, this unit, while it may look like the previous mini splits we had on here, uh, this is called a low ambient model. Basically, this can run down to negative 14 degrees. I do have to put a different grill on it or it's negative something degrees, maybe negative five. But it can run as low as 14 degrees with the current grill that's on it. But the point here being is that I will be able to cool with this and it won't freeze up or anything in the winter. Why would I do that though? So I'm hard drive mining and I finally got my gear actually in the hard drive mining shed. This has been such a fun project. I gotta talk a little softer because uh, there'll definitely be an echo in here. And I guess I need to put up, I need to put up soundproofing or something. But most of this was done when I took delivery of it. We painted the floors and uh, we put the mini splits in, uh, but every everything else was already done, finished up, wrapped up, ready to go. Super proud of this, uh, you know, shameless plug right here. Oh yeah, the Boss Coin Tails Edition Evergreen Miner. This is a plug and play hard drive miner. And let's say you're not even into hard drives or Chia, whatever. Okay, so very soon you'll be able to mine Bitcoin automatically with Chia XDH Farmers. I'm personally not doing that because I want to support Chia because I think what they're doing is super cool. But that's not your thing. You can still get in the mining game and become a Bitcoin hard drive miner, essentially. Obviously, this is themed orange, just like Tails. Uh, there's a couple cool add-ons. This has higher compression uh, than their older units, a new power supply design, all things they're working towards, you know, for their general releases. But this is the first one to get it. It's just a better unit across the board. It's cool to see them continue improving. Uh, in addition, you get a cool theme in the app and all that stuff, and it doesn't cost any extra money. Uh, there's no boss coin tax markup on this thing. And for anybody wondering, with that deal, we just get our standard affiliate percentage. That miner right there, I bought that. It's my money, didn't have to, none of that. Uh, so that's number one of the 200 that are being released. And I got a couple more on the way. But you'll notice behind me, I have more evergreen miners. I've got different versions. Uh, that have been released. These aren't the shelves uh, that I'm going to keep running here long term. I'm going to get three four by two metal racks and just set them up here right in the middle. And then I'm going to move to a smart PDU and I'll be able to remotely reboot these and everything like that. That'll be incredible. And I will also move to mining on 240 voltage. I've already got all that wired in here. Right now I'm just using APC search protectors. I really like these. Uh, and I'm plugged into my 110, 120 volt outlets here. These hard drive miners, there's huge variations and all that. Let's just say they earn a couple bucks a day uh, with 10 hard drives. There's different models, things like that. And they cost about five bucks a month to run. Hard drives are not cheap though, okay? Even if you DIY your own hard drive miner or Chia XDH Farmer, uh, it's not going to be a cheap endeavor to deploy some serious space. Uh, I've got my uh, spare laptop out here that I just basically remote into and, and manage the farm. Uh, from here, it's nice to have this in a nice, clean, climate-controlled area. It was over um, in Boss Coin HQ. It's the garage-looking building. 
uh, which is not a clean environment, uh, especially right now, by any means. I also have some juicy miners down here. I need to get these higher up on shelves so I'm not looking ridiculous here on camera. But to break it down quickly, these are plug and play hard drive miners as well. They are basically a competitor uh, to Evergreen. Uh, they also uh, have moved to compressed models, so that's cool to see. Uh, I like both of them. I've got links out to both of them in the video description below and a coupon code to save you some coin at, you guessed it, both of them. My main gripe with the Juicy Miners though is if you get a power blip, you have to manually click this button on the back of each of the expansion hubs uh, in order to turn them on. They should automatically turn on and I'm hoping that he updates that in a future model release. Now, you know, if we kind of think back to where I was with hard drive mining, right? Through one in my basement, uh, back in my old house. That just got me hooked. It was real easy. We're talking low power use, tiny electricity bill because of that, right? Uh, low heat, low heats, yeah, you guessed it, low noise. Uh, these are things you can put freaking anywhere with basically any electricity rate. So, got another one got another one, got another one, and I uh, was running them in the house, moved, then I was running them in uh, Boss Quinn HQ in the upstairs, which the end game for that is basically to become like an office, studio, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so they weren't really supposed to be there forever. Now with this, I've got a climate controlled environment. I need to clean it up a little bit, organize it, and get better shelves and all that. But basically, I've tried to make this nice and minimize my input because I'm still pretty strapped for time with all my obligations and mining farm build out and of course the Bosco YouTube stuff. I've got a 200 amp panel in here and I actually pulled this off of the gray mining shed which will soon become an immersion mining shed uh, and I want all my juice available for that so I am I've already been approved and it's just waiting on the electric company to come out and do it. Uh, but to install a new electricity service out here. It will be single phase, and that's gonna be the final piece I build out as I continue pushing for three phase. Hopefully I will have three phase at the Boss Queen Mining Farm in about a year. But something like this, this building, I'm just gonna leave it on single phase. So I'm not gonna lose money uh, doing this later on. And I'm not going to like absolutely need a super low electricity rate because I will get a better rate on three phase than I do on single phase uh, electricity. You can see my L630Rs. Uh, I'm gonna run PDUs into those, and that's also going to be what powers my server rack. I'm gonna put the server rack over here. I'm gonna put a desk in here, so this will double as a field office for me with climate control, which would be really appreciated, because um, normally when I'm out here in the summer, uh, I'm sitting in you know, my truck running AC, you know, wear and tear on that, wasting gas. Uh, so I'll just be able to basically get free AC because I'm already buying it. Uh, to have all this stuff run in a cool environment. Uh, when it comes to running gear like this, I'm getting better efficiency uh, by operating this uh, with HVAC, with, with cooling. Better efficiency means that they will consume less electricity. Hopefully, eventually at scale, that alone would compensate or uh, you know, basically pay off, pay, break even on say, running that unit. But even more so with that efficiency, they don't get drops in performance. And that means that they will mine more, they will mine faster, I will earn more, I'll mine more coins, I'll make more money. At some point, this is the right decision, it makes sense, and it's going to increase the life expectancy of all of my hardware. Hard drives, they're not the most robust piece of equipment. They are a computer part that has moving parts. So by keeping them in a clean and cool environment, they're just going to last longer. Leave yourself outside for a day and then put yourself in a nice cool room for a day. Which one did your body thank you for? To bring it back to the deployment out here, uh, you will notice I have two heads in here because I have two mini splits in here. Uh, very, very simple, very straightforward reason. Redundancy. One goes down, fire the other one up. No downtime on the farm. Okay, I'm planning for a bull run. I cannot quite literally afford downtime in a bull run. Honestly, this isn't the most lucrative endeavor right now. Some people are laughing down in the comments on YouTube and crap talking me on the ticker talk. Well, chill out, dude, okay? Everybody looks like a maniac in a bear market or a suppressed cryptocurrency market. But hopefully Chia and many other cryptocurrencies hit a new all-time high. And if they do, I'll already have the mining farm. I'll be a very happy man. 
If they don't, well, this is a very long-term viable operation. Chia has committed to proof of work. It, they've committed to being mineable, a mineable coin. This climate controlled environment will basically make this maintenance free, essentially. Uh, there's no cleaning, it's not dirty. Uh, I'm increasing the life expectancy of all this gear by running it in the HVAC climate, right? So I'm not setting this up to mine today, tomorrow, and to be rich next year. I'm setting this up, I'm gonna let it run, I'm gonna let it eat for years. And I think that's the difference. I mean, I've, I've got the long-term focus. I've got the commitment. I'm gonna let this ride and see where it goes. And uh, that's why I'm taking the time and I'm trying to you know, build out this mining farm infrastructure the best I can. That's why I'm not running over a Wi-Fi mesh network or hotspot or none of that. I've got a hardwired internet between the buildings, right? And then I plug it in to a router and then I plug it into my network switch and everything works. So we started doing something I think is really cool and really proud of. And that's releasing a monthly snapshot of our mining farm uh, performance. I haven't ironed out all the kinks with all the other coins and uh, everything we mine, but the pilot on this is gonna be the hard drive mining operation. We released our first one in August, which had our July data. And now we've released our second one in September, which has our August data. So it's really cool to look at the first one and already see that we went from terabytes to petabytes. Very cool, very exciting about that. And so looking at the hard drive capacity, comparing it to the effective space, which is based off of compression, not just uh, basically uh, mining luck, if you will. Keeping track of the total blocks we are mining, as well as the monthly blocks, and of course, just the simple metric of how much Chia we mined or XCH we farmed in the last 30 days or technically in the last calendar month. So. Last month we farmed 8.41 XCH, and that's not even $300 right now. Which, so, it's nothing, you know, absolutely crazy, especially when I've got basically $20,000 of mining rigs in there. But those are pre-built plug-and-plays, which do carry a little bit of a premium, as opposed to DIYing a similar size deployment. Uh, so there's pros and cons to both. But if you were to compare that number to if Chia hit a new all-time high, that wouldn't be a sub $300 month we would have mined over $10,000. And this isn't just about then, I'm hodling and I'm in a position to keep running this until better days or until I cut my losses and sell all the gear and sell the coin I've got and move on, whatever, right? Which would I would capitulate many, many years away from now uh, if I ever do, because I'm a freaking maniac. And a key piece of that is I am mining and holding my coins. So it's not just about hopeful, super profitable months in the future, but in retrospect, they will all be that profitable if I ever even get a single month where the metrics, the returns are just that crazy. One of the coolest things about Chia farming is the fact that when you hit a block, you get a block reward. So every block that my mining farm personally solves, I get 0.25 coins sent straight to my wallet. Imagine if you know you were lucky enough to hit a Bitcoin block in a mining pool and then 0.25 Bitcoin showed up in your wallet. Yeah, you'd be pretty freaking excited. It doesn't even have anything to do with the pool. It's baked into the protocol. So it's not some kind of cool mining pool thing, uh, no. This is standard issue on that chain. I think it's so freaking cool, which makes me even more proud of all the blocks that we've personally solved with our mining farm. There is an elephant in the room though. In about 200 days, Chia will have, which means half as many coins will be mined per day. That could be a catalyst to a new all time high. It would decrease the emissions, the newly minted coins, uh, which would potentially decrease cell pressure and obviously decrease the general inflation of the coin. All those, you know, economic things, right? Uh, so there's pros and cons. It's kind of bad for the mining operation, but if the coin doubles in USD, then USD wise, I'm good. Um, I look at this more as how many coins can I stack as opposed to, you know, how many dollars am I making? I'm quite literally banking on a future date where these coins have appreciated greatly in price. Many people don't know this, but, but she is working towards their IPO, uh, bringing their company public, all that stuff. There's, there's pros and cons to a public company in association with a decentralized cryptocurrency. But the fact of the matter is, I think it is just going to send this coin to the moon if they make it there and succeed and all that. So we'll see, um, quite literally. But I, I got some of my eggs in that basket, that's for sure. So ultimately, you know, this thing is operational, it's, it's running. Um, this is the new service because I don't have a permanent structure. They make me build these standoffs, which is, a huge pain um, in 
you know, retrospect, I, I should have just poured concrete with what I ended up doing because that's literally the difference if it's built into concrete. Maybe I could even try to justify it if it was literally sitting on concrete, but I think it needs to be anchored into it. But that's kind of gray area. I would just drive a bolt into the ground and be like, it's anchored. Okay, just because my building sucks doesn't mean it's not permanent. Either way, got the standoff service here. Obviously, I'm missing the meter. This will be 400 amps, so 200 amps will go into the hard drive mining shed, and then 200 amps will go to something I'll hopefully have there. Um, and hopefully, also, again, hopefully, the near future. Got basic security, basic logs, basic everything. The, the basics of all of this, uh, you know, they're done. They're, they're complete, uh, which, which is very cool. It's very relieving. It's very exciting. And this is the fastest mining project that I've ever turned around um, that, you know, I would consider a larger scale. Or, I mean, it's very large scale for me and what I do. And Alexa, Miss Voss, she's incredible. She helps me with a lot of things. Ultimately, most of this is my to-do my burden i think some people can i've noticed be like very critical like why aren't you doing xyz in the comments but it's like damn man i'm like only one dude i can only do so much stuff all the time i mean i i, I try to get it done i grind i also have a lot of a lot of other obligations and i like to spend uh you know sometimes with, fr with friends family all that stuff and obviously the venerable tails vosk rcho our chief hard drive mining Officer, what? oh man, AC is incredible. It really is. It's like I'm, I, I do a lap around this thing. I'm sweating. It's like 100 degrees outside. It's cool. 69 in here. So this is the latest update at the Voscoin Mining Farm on the hard drive mining initiative. I'm, I'm so, I'm excited. I really want to see where this stuff goes. You know, my double-edged sword is I cannot do anything in a small capacity. If I do anything, I'm like. We're gonna blow it wide open, boys. Full throttle. Just leave it wide open. Let it stick. That's fine. We'll make the turn. How do you go faster on track? More gas, less brakes, and a proper racing line. On that note, I just wanna let you know I appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. And seriously, if you wanna consider supporting the Voscoin YouTube channel, you tuning in, watching, I mean, obviously, that's all I ask. That's incredible. But, a little nudge, if, you have been on the fence or thinking about getting an evergreen miner or hard drive mining or anything like that if you would support voscoin by grabbing one of the tails editions i think i mean I, I would just genuinely appreciate that and if you don't want one that's fine then i would just ask send it to somebody you think might that's it that's all i got thanks for watching i hope to see you on the next one and uh, i hope we can continue bringing you know fun products and, and variations to market it's uh doing so many things in the crypto and digital space you know, I'm infatuated with mining for many reasons, but one of those is that it, it creates something physical tied to the digital realm. And, you know, bringing something with some of our branding and touches on the market, I mean, just, I love that stuff. I, I've always wanted to, you know, create some things in life. And uh, so I'm just thankful that, uh, you know, I, I get to, you know, do these things. And uh, I wouldn't be able to without viewers like you. So seriously, thank you so much. See you later.